Who wants to start this? <laughs> what do we do now? I don't know. <laughs> what happens? What do we, where do we go from here? I don't know. I think we're done. Oh, is this over? Finished already? That's how we do these reviews. Short and simple. Went by that quick. <laughs> they, they don't even know what movie it was. That's how fast it was. Probably out of the movie theaters but that quick, too. Okay, so welcome to Front Row Review. And I am David Graves. And I'm Vince Maniachi. And I, you can't say nothing yet, guest reviewer. I haven't introduced you. Oh. Yeah, sit there. Be quiet. And you gotta sit there and not say nothing until you get introduced. Don't you know how guest reviewing works here? No. Actually, I don't think we ever had a guest reviewer on the show, have we? Not since we've done this, I think. Yeah, our guest reviewer is... That's your cue, Max. Now you can talk. <laughs> Max Murphy! Hey! Alright, let's get into our review of... What, Max? Cowboys and Aliens. Alright, Vince. Now, and Max. I keep forgetting we have a third, third person here. I've already forgot you, Max. You're fired. Th they've been advertising this movie to death. I mean, literally. It's been advertising for like a year now before this movie's even come out in the theaters. It seemed like forever. I mean, they were talking about it like a year and a half ago. It was kind of. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Iron Man Two. I was, by the time Iron Man Two came out, directed by the same guy, um, it, I was almost sick of seeing it. I was like, I don't even know if I want to see the movie because I've been seeing so many advertisements for it. I didn't think the movie was going to be any good because they advertised it so much. Usually, they do that to movies that aren't going to sell well on their own. When I seen these hundreds and thousands of previews for this movie, I figured this was a surefire hit. This was one of the big, huge blockbusters of the summer, and it has Harrison Ford and Daniel Craig in it. I mean, how could this movie go wrong? I, I was thinking the same thing, especially having Harrison Ford in it. That's one, like one of my favorite actors of all time. It was a great movie! You really thought this was a great movie? Well... I don't know. It was good. It went from being okay to great to good really quick there. What happened? <laughs> well, I don't know. Good job, Max. Good job. Good job. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> so what do you think of it, Dave? Out of all the summer films, I would probably say... This was the biggest disappointment out of all of them. And I would have to second that. <laughs> I, I, I was actually anticipating this, this movie. I really did want to see it, like, like we said, because of uh, all the people involved in it. And I was like, man, that's going to be good. That's, I mean, having cowboys and aliens, yeah. what could, you know, it sounds like... Yeah, that's going to be really interesting. That's have those two genres put together. Well, I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised by how good the movie was. I didn't think it was going to be as good. Yeah, see, mine was totally opposite. I thought it was going to be good. My, I think my biggest problem with this movie is the... I mean, I really love Westerns. As you know, if you watched our True Grit review, I love Westerns. I think Westerns are fantastic. I love Westerns. That was a great movie. I don't know. It, it didn't really work for me. This movie, it had a good story. I think the story was alright. Some of the acting could have been a little better, but <laughs> it was okay. Yeah, you know, the acting from Harrison Ford was just kind of, I don't know, he's a great actor, but he just seemed like he just grumbled and yelled through this whole movie. He's like, yeah, leave me alone. I ain't gonna talk to you, leave me alone. He was, uh, he's a rather, uh, uh, uh an asshole. I thought it was, I thought they nailed the Western part really well. I think it was like 85% Western and 15% sci-fi. 
Well, I thought it was about an hour and about 20 minutes of people walk, riding on horseback talking and about 20 minutes of explosions. Now, as you can see, I can't sit still, so I did have issues sitting through some of those parts, especially at the end where we won't talk about it. But I sat there forever. I was like, oh, my God, can it be over yet? No, oh, it, it, it dragged a lot. It, it did. It dragged. Hallelujah. <laughs> That, that, exactly. That that was my biggest problem with the film was that it it, it like I said the story was good, or it, it had a halfway decent story. I wouldn't say it was spectacular, but uh, the story was good. The acting was decent. It's just the movie was just so boring. boring. And it's like they tried to put parts of action in there where things blow up once in a while, but. Even then, when they blow up, it's like, okay, stuff, something blew up. I mean, that's, that doesn't qualify it as a great, great action film. I like the action scenes that were in it. I mean, they, they, were, they weren't constant or anything. You know, I actually liked the Indian part in this movie. I actually liked the Indians more than I liked the cowboy part, actually, because I just thought the Indians seemed a little bit more natural fighting aliens for some reason than the cowboys did. I don't know. I just thought they were kind of a cool improvement. Once they got to the Indian part, it, for me, the movie got a little bit better, but it just never got great. I didn't think it was going to be very good. I mean, they advertised the shit out of it, and then a couple of people I know wanted to go see it, and so I was like, alright, we'll go, and I went, but I was surprised. I liked how it started, and then I kind of like how the story developed, and I liked how it ended, but it did drag in parts. I mean, there were parts where I just could not sit down anymore, and I was like, we have to do something else. And I did also agree, I think the acting could have been a little better as well. I liked and, Olivia Wilde. Yeah, she was actually really good in this movie. Um, she was from Tron, if nobody knows who she is. She plays number 13 on House. I know, now every time I see her in a movie, I'm like, it's number 13! Then my pants explode. So, as, as a guest reviewer, Max, you get the first uh, review for the film. What did you think of it? I thought it was good. I was pleasantly surprised. I, uh, I would have cut about 20 minutes of the walking around and the staring at each other, just standing there, staring, doing nothing. But staring, we'll cut some of that out. But I liked it. So, scale one to five, what are you giving it, Max? I'm giving it a four out of five. I would have to give Cowboy on Aliens this disappointing film a two out of five. And I would also second that, Vince, and would give Cowboys and Aliens a two. Out of five. It was good. You guys are crazy. Yeah, leave me low. I don't want to leave me low.